Good morning friends. I am Dr. Ashish Sarwal, prostate cancer specialist and robotic surgeon from New Delhi, India. Today I will discuss a very delicate part of robotic surgery, the complications. Prostate cancer is the most common cancer in men and when it is diagnosed at an early stage, the best treatment is surgery and the best technology for surgery is robotic surgery. So for early prostate cancer, robotic radical prostate is the best treatment. But whenever the patient is thinking about surgery, they are afraid about the complications. The two most common complications which the patients are scared about is number one, the urinary leakage and number two, erectile dysfunction. So today we will discuss these two complications in detail. First of all, let us discuss the common risk factors for these complications. So somebody who is very advanced age, more than 80 years or somebody who has an advanced cancer in which the PSA is very high or somebody who is very fat or the prostate size is very big. So these are the risk factors. These patients are more prone to have these complications of urinary leakage and erectile dysfunction. Having said that, if you diagnose your cancer early at an early stage and you are young and you are fit, you exercise regularly, you are not overweight, then the risk of these complications are very less and you can recover your unit in control and your erections very soon. Apart from that, we take some special precautions about how to do the robotic surgery properly and how to prevent these complications. First of all, we do the nerve sparing prostatectomy in which we spare the nerves. Secondly, because of the robotic technology, we are able to do 3D vision, HD vision and because of that, we are able to see the sphincter and the apex of the prostate very well. The apex of the prostate and the sphincter are very close and our aim is to save the sphincter, the urinary sphincter for control of urination and remove the full prostate without leaving any prostate behind in the body. Also, we are doing the hood technique. In the hood technique, we don't cut the ligaments. So all the ligaments and all the anatomical structures are as they are before surgery. So when the normal anatomy is maintained, and retained then the urinary control and urine leakage problems are not that common. Apart from that we are also using amniotic nerve wrap. Amniotic nerve wrap is basically when we save the nerves over the nerves we put some amniotic membrane wrap which helps in nerve regeneration. This helps in early recovery of the urine control and the erectile dysfunction. Also you have to understand one of the most important things about good outcome is the surgeon experience. You cannot go to a hospital where there is a robot available but the surgeon is not experienced. The most important is the surgeon how he does the surgery. Also you have to understand that it is not the technology, it is not the machine, it is the man behind the machine. So always search for a surgeon who is a prostate cancer specialist and a robotic surgeon who is doing these surgeries regularly and he knows how to give you the best outcome. You have to understand. Like if I am a sports car driver and I am an expert in driving a car but still if I am given a key of an aeroplane and somebody tells me to ride the aeroplane it is almost sure that I will crash it because I have no idea about how to drive the aeroplane. Similarly it happens with surgeries. If somebody is a good surgeon but he is not experienced in robotic surgery if he goes to the robot he will not be able to give you that type of results which somebody who is an experienced robotic surgeon is going to give you. So choose your surgeon properly. I have done more than 2000 robotic surgeries for prostate cancer in the last 10-15 years and I have been continuously doing this regularly and giving excellent results to the patients. The Da Vinci company Intuitive Surgical has made me the proctor for robotic surgery. That means that any hospital which purchases a robot in India, they call me to teach their surgeons how to do robotic surgery. So basically when you are searching for a robotic surgeon, look for somebody who is doing robotic surgeries regularly and his special interest is in prostate cancer treatment. If you are also having prostate cancer or somebody in your family has got prostate cancer and they want to contact me, you can contact me on email or WhatsApp. My email and WhatsApp number are given in the description. Thank you.